Okay, so uh, which way should I look? <laughs> uh, it's been, so uh, before I start, uh, and you become disappointed with my presentation and, and will not agree with anything, I wanted to ask if we could wish a happy birthday to our viewers. Uh, we have a, a telephone filming there. And I will, uh, since we are all pretty much in the same boat, doing similar stuff all around the world. So I will say one word, uh, one sentence in Lithuania. And if you could all say happy birthday. So, or something bad. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's do this. Linkėjame visiems laisvės televizijos žiūrovams ir sveikinime trečią kitą progą iš Armenijos. Okay. So, now, uh, now the uh, less fun part. Uh, I will introduce Liberty TV uh, a bit, uh, because most of you probably don't know who we are. So uh, we started in 2016 as a, a protest. Lithuania is a free country and we have pretty much 100% uh, uh, freedom of speech. But there was a situation in 2016 when uh, an election was coming up and one of the most famous journalists in Lithuania Mr. Uh, Andrew Stavinas had a TV show on the National Broadcaster Channel. And as far as the rumor goes, uh, the general manager of the television got a phone call from the prime minister of that time and said, enough is enough. So the show got canceled. Um, since Andrew's got quite a lot of free time on his hands, he came up uh, with an idea of a crowdfunded television channel that would be free of any third party influences. So uh, Liberty TV got, uh, got founded in September 2016 as a crowdfunded uh, internet television. Actually, we just call ourselves a, a television. We have a YouTube channel and all of our content is free to watch on YouTube. And all the critics said that uh, we will not survive, people will not pay for what they can get for free, but, oh boy, they were wrong. Uh, today, this is our third birthday, we, we are starting uh, our fourth season of uh, the political satire show Hang In There. I will show some examples uh, later on in my presentation. But from, from one show, Liberty TV grew to a huge civic movement. Well, huge in Lithuanian uh, context. Well, we, we have only 3 million people, and we have the biggest civic event uh, gathering 35,000 people every year. We do protests when politicians stop listening to us. We uh, visit schools, we do a lot of meaningful work, but everything we do, we try to be as, a, as gorillas. You know, we, we have no boundaries, we have a lack of fear, and we try to make fun of everything uh, that we can make of, uh, fun of. So, uh, when Liberty TV got founded, uh, we just made one Facebook post say, saying, we will do a show. And $6,000 were pledged on Patreon, just with no content. Uh, by the end of the month, we had four episodes, and fourteen thousand dollars pledged. So uh, after three years, we have a stable income of patrons with fifteen thousand uh, dollars, around four and a half thousand patrons pledging every month, just because they believe that what we do is meaningful. So uh, as always, politicians not always get the joke, and this is a funny situation. Just from the October 2016, a month from the start of Liberty TV, we were asking for people, you know, give a dollar, uh, pledge on Patreon uh, for Liberty TV. And one of the politicians, Valentinas Mazurovnitz, which is Valentine in, in English, 
said that, well, you, you are not doing anything uh, original. We have John Oliver, Richard Yogar, Urgan, and this is Andrew Stavimus. Uh, original people don't, uh, don't you know, copy uh, themselves. So uh, what we did, he said, well, what internet, give us a dollar and we will make something original. <laughs> and the biggest festival in Lithuanian Facebook history began on Valentina's uh, Facebook uh, wall. People uh, throughout the night made 10,000 comments, hashtag Valentine give, a, give us a dollar. <laughs> so uh, after that, after that, he promised when there will be 100 episodes of our show, he will give us $100. So, um, Last February the 14th, the Valentine's Day, uh, we had to cheat a bit and fake the numbering of the shows so that 100th episode would be on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Invited Mr. Valentinus and he gave us the $100. Real dollars. No, we, we checked. In one dollar, back notes. Uh, for my shirt. Uh, yes. So, uh, sorry. We, of course not. Uh, let me continue. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, Another thing uh, some of you may be familiar with, uh, when Donald Trump got elected, he said, America first. And all Europe said, okay, America first, but let us be second. So uh, we did a video that got a lot of international attention throughout the world. I got uh, phone calls and emails from Japan, America, and, and whatever, uh, wanting to show this uh, piece of video uh, on their uh, television channels. Can we start the video? From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. Ir kaip ir būtų jau nemažai dalis jūsų matėt, internete paplito kolego Alanu sukurtas atsakas Donaldui Trump. Dear Mr. President, welcome to this introduction video about the Netherlands. It's going to be a great video. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Amerikiečiai yeah. bandė juoktis iš Trumpo, kad labus gerus kelius dešimtmečius, dabar žaksime du savo jokų, Olandams pavyko iš pirmo ką. Kaip dar buvęs buvusios partijos šefas Valentinas Mazurovis, seniai konstatavo, laikykite stems su antrimi tapinu yra visus aplinkui kopijuojantį internetinę laidelę. Valentinai, mes nesigydom. Mes begeniškai kopijavom Johną Oliverį, mes begeniškai kopijavom Večernį Urgant, kas jis toks būtų. O dabar begeniškai kopijuojam Olandus. Zondag met Lubak. Jūsų dėmesioj Lietuvos prisistatinos Donaldui Trumpui. Dear Mr. President, this is an introductory video about Lithuania. The Netherlands did it first. So what? We are the center of Europe and the best country in Europe, period. All the others are losers. Are they in the center? No, we are. Bullseye. 600 years ago, we were the biggest country in Europe. We were great. One of our founding fathers was Viatotas the Great. He totally destroyed those nasty Germans. He did it before it was trendy to destroy nasty Germans. He made Lithuania great. Everyone was talking about it. Later, we've destroyed that nasty Soviet Union. We've destroyed it by building a wall, a wall of people. We even put some Latvians and Estonians into the wall. It was a real human wall called the Baltic Way. It was the best wall, enormous. Even Pink Floyd called and said that our wall is the best. It's true. That doesn't mean we don't have walls now. We have 10 walls. He is the best electronic DJ in the world. Believe us. He is also the best homophobe. You will love him. 
Can you imagine? Ten walls, not one, not two, but ten. Also, we have the fastest internet in the world. Amazing. The best internet in the world. People travel thousands of miles just to use our fastest internet. Very important people. It's true. Just imagine how fast you can tweet when you have the fastest internet. There are many famous Lithuanian people all around the world. You know Jason Sudeikis? Yes, he was on Saturday Night Live. We agree it's terrible television. Baldwin is a joke. But Sudeikis was amazing because he's Lithuanian. Also, Hannibal Lecter was Lithuanian. Terrific guy. Great table manners. As tough as our president is, she's a woman. It's ridiculous. She won an election against male candidates, twice. A total disgrace. She probably rigged the election. Still, be careful. She has a black belt in karate, and her name is Grimo Skaita. No, not grab her skirt, Grimo Skaita. In Lithuania, everyone is crazy about basketball. Great game, orange ball. And we have the best team. We always come in third. But still, we beat America once. They were weak like a baby. All Democrats, by the way. It's true. Our language is the oldest in Europe. And it is the only language where Trump is not only a name, but a real word. Yes. Trumpas in Lithuanian means short. Really. But there is nothing short in your body. We know it. In our capital, Vilnius, we have an amazing old town with beautiful churches and castles. Huge castles. This is Drake, a completely different town. Not Vilnius, but still, it's huge. And love is everywhere in Vilnius. Isn't it fantastic? No, it's not. It's a disgrace. It must be fake. Absolutely fake. Alternative facts. Very unprofessional. A nice kiss, though. Passionate. Also, a huge favor for you, Mr. President. Great advice. A gift. We were the first European nation to impeach our president because he was too friendly with Russia. Really friendly guy. It was unprecedented. The impeachment was huge. Good TV ratings. Tremendous ratings. But bad for business. Come to Lithuania and we'll tell you how to avoid it. Because, you know, we won't let Democrats put you in that spot if you don't let Putin into our country. We totally understand. It's going to be America first. The Netherlands can have their second place, and we shall take the third. Everyone knows, it's better to win the bronze than to lose in the finals. It's true. Let's make Lithuania third. All the best wishes from the center of Europe. The very center. And it is amazing. So another uh, thing, uh, after the America First video, all the Europe got together okay, uh, and made a song that Alone We Are Alone. Uh, I don't know, uh, did someone from here also made a, make a video yeah. uh, this compilation? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, uh, pretty short. So did a that political satire is a big thing all around the world and all around Europe uh, and we try to react as quickly as possible to all the news and uh, social issues and uh, one, uh, one uh, was when our Prime Minister said that Latvians 
who we in the folklore call our brothers, Brodupe, are not brothers to us and they are competitors. And said, well, that's not true. But then it's our Brodupe. We made a, a song to a popular Lithuanian song that, uh, which we consider to be a basketball anthem uh, as a sorry for the, for the Latvians. Press play. Okay, so uh, this got quite a lot of traction in the Baltic states, and uh, Latvia has also their political satire show. And uh, well, it's a lot more funny uh, to us because it's, uh, the Latvians try to talk Lithuanian and it's ridiculous. But uh, still, it, it was very nice to, to see this uh, response uh, play. Mili Lietovai, kaiminiai, draugai. Gavome jūsų atsiprašymą dėl jūsų ministro, pirmininko, Saulius Skardelijo, pasisakymo, kad mes nesam jūsų braliukai. Norėtume jums į tai atsakyti. Skvernelis aišku neteisus. Mes esam braliukai, bet galbūt jis truputį teisus. Šioje šeimoje mes esam joneliai, nes mažesnė šalis visada laikiam jūs virsenių brolių, kuri galima parnevoti. Nebuvome geriai braliukai, part mažai davėm taškų Eurovizijoje ir už tai norime atsiprašyti. Daug metų Baltijos šalis viską buvo pasidali jūsos, Lietuva žaizda krepšinį, Latvija ledo rytulį, o Estija, da, Estija yra Estija. Bet dabar mes turime daugiau žaidėjų NBA nei jūs. Žiniote kodėl? Ne todėl, kad mums labai patinka krepšinis. Mes nekenčiam krepšinio, mums tiesą reikia to, kad turite jūs. Ir pageidautina daugiau. Ir kalbant apie pajūrų kilometrą, kurių jūs taip gražai paprašėt padavanoti. Ne problema. Štai mes net pažymėjom žemėlapę tą kilometrą, kurų galėtumą jums padavanoti. Ir pabaigai dovanojome jums populiarėje dainą lietuviškai. Na, populiarausia mums žinoma dainą lietuvų kalbą. Ačiū visiems, bučiojame visus, bučiojame lietuvus, bučiojame ir estus, bučkai taip pat ir rusams ir bokečiams. Bučkai visiems, bet labjausai lietuvams. Yeah, so uh, uh, today uh, we are the most subscribed Lithuanian media YouTube channel, uh, surpassing by far all, all the traditional televisions. We also sell our licenses to traditional televisions uh, who are not afraid to show the insults we, we talk about in our shows. Uh, we keep in mind that we have only 3 million people. Uh, we generate 1.2 million views every month. So uh, this is uh, quite a lot in uh, Lithuania. So since the time is over, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Will there be any questions? I killed the questions. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're both. Uh,
But uh, uh, just one question. Uh, well, I, I examined this case of Andrew Stappenas in this uh, TV program, Dirty It Now. And it looks like it, it's not like it's over. Uh, do we have like, new episodes or it's are you going to um, record some new episodes? Thank you. Um, I'm on this for a year uh, because we had funding from the current time uh, television. Uh, we sold the license to them and we made the Russian version of, of this show. Uh, we are currently waiting to, for an answer from some uh, donors. Uh, and if it is a positive answer, we will definitely continue the show because it, it was actually a huge success. We penetrated the, the Russian market, uh, flipping the audience from being mainly Lithuanian to being mainly Russian, Russians living in Russia. So in, in the terms of fighting disinformation, it's uh, really a good tool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just one question, a little bit business related. So you said that you funded the um, program by doing crowdfunding, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, what did you offer to the public who contributed? Well, uh, or it was sorry, uh, or it was just the values or the mission that you have that motivated that. Maybe uh, the the most donors are emotional. They pledge just because they find it me meaningful what we do. But uh, as as used to, uh, as, it, as it is used to uh, do on Patreon, it is just digital benefits, you know, you get to watch the show a day before, you get a newsletter and thank you and be on the lottery and, and, and so on. But actually uh, to this day we have some 12 or, or 13 different revenue streams because uh, of course that sum is not enough. Uh, 